Hey, my name is Patrick. I have owned the 24mm 1.4 for about 10 months now, almost a year. From the time I bought it, it has been one of the biggest lens expenses I have had, as it is my first D-Master lens. Now, to make that expense semi-worth it, or at least justified to myself, I decided to make a 30-day challenge. So the rules for the challenge I created was actually really simple. Post every day on Instagram. Use only the 24mm for all my personal work. I could still use other lenses for my professional work because it shouldn't affect that. Side note before we continue, I kind of, we just got a haze machine. I really want to test out how it looks. So I might have gone overboard with the haze, but it looks cool. First post that I actually did wasn't even with the 24mm G Master. It was with my 16 to 45 F4 as the 24 actually came a day later than I expected. So I started my little challenge. We're shooting just with the 24 millimeter and posting. I'm here with my boy, Mikkel. And so far I've been enjoying shooting with, with the 24 focal length on the 16 to 45. It's a great focal length, there is something about it, but I sometimes do miss the compression and the range of a 50 or something tighter. My next post was actually with my friend Rock. We went out to shoot a bit. And that photo I got with him, there is something about the 24mm wideness and the 1.4 that just makes the subject pop out of the frame. Like Rock is looking especially interesting, he's really popping out of the background and we still have a lot of background around him. I shot some with my friend Dresse, I actually got one of my favorite shots with him in this kind of Assassin's Creed type look. But let's go back to some of the things I love about the lens. First things first, the 24mm has an aperture ring. Seems like such a small thing, but yet it's been one of my favorite features to work with. Being able to smoothly change from a 1.4 to a 2.8. And if we continue on that, I actually did shoot a lot documentary style content with that lens because of it being so good in the environment, but also being so effective at switching between the apertures. And also because of how wide it is, and with the new A7S III's stabilization, the active stabilization, I have made shots where I can be walking with my subject and still get smooth, stable, gimbal-like shots. But with all that good said about the lens, there are a few caveats to it that I kind of dislike. Because of how wide it is, it actually distorts the image, which is maybe why I feel it gives this pop effect. But that pop effect can have a really unpleasant look on the subject if you're shooting a product or a person. The thing about distortion for wide-angle lenses is the closer the subject is, the bigger it looks. If my hand comes closer, it increases dramatically. And if you're doing a medium close-up portrait of a person, sometimes they can seem like they are getting a bigger nose. And that is unflattering. So that's one thing that I dislike. Now it's not nothing wrong with the lens, it's the focal length itself. The 24mm is pretty wide, but I it's just around the range where I would say it's just wide enough to be able to vlog with, but it's not comfortable to vlog with. And now the biggest issue with 24 G Master is the price. But the thing that I learned from posting like every day with this lens specifically, it's kind of a pain to actually post every day, especially because it puts you out of your comfort zone. And also just something you have to keep in mind every day. One good thing that came out of the challenge is because I had to post every day, I needed to post something every day. I needed something to be able to shoot. And that meant I went on more huggish, on more fun shoots, and I experimented more, just, just shot more in generally. And that made me just get so comfortable with the 24 mil. I have shot so many projects on it. I know what it's good at, what it's bad at. I know how to get some of the, my, some really cool shots with it. And also it's one of the, probably the only lens that always is in my camera bag. But that's everything for me. Hopefully I'm gonna be back next week with another video or else I might have gotten sick again.